I went through his phone while he was in the shower and found text messages, videos, and pictures. I'm sick to my stomach thinking about what I saw. I saw pictures of my mom in lingerie, and he was replying with pictures of his you-know-what. Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the Internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story title, I'm Pregnant and My Husband Has Been Sleeping With My Mother. And guys, this certainly falls in the category, you can't make this S-H-I-T up, and of course, I'm Gamora 2.0. And in this story, this is a gal here, she's 26 years old, obviously not married too long, and finds out one day that her husband while she's pregnant, is hooking up with her mother, a 52-year-old woman. And she finds this through the worst possible way, through text, pictures, and videos of this whole thing. And now, obviously, she's wondering, how do I go about handling this whole thing? And, and of course, you know, it's over with the husband and her mother, but still, you can't make this shit up. And I gotta tell you, as I was reading this, I was hearing banjos in my head, if you know what I mean here, because this is, well, crazy. So it starts off, says here, hello. A few several friends and relatives follow my main Reddit account, so I've made a new one to avoid creating any more drama. I don't know if it can get any more dramatic than than your mom hooking up with your husband. I, a 26-year-old female, have found that my husband, a 30-year-old male, is having you-know-what with my mother, a 52-year-old woman. He's got a thing for cougars, clearly. I honestly don't know how to react. I'm effing four months pregnant, and I'm trying not to stress since it's bad enough for the baby. I honestly had suspicions about my husband cheating. When I announced my pregnancy, he seemed happy. Over the moon, actually. He was kissing me and telling me how lucky he was to to have me, but now he's changed. About two weeks after my surprise announcement, he stopped hugging me, kissing me, like usual. He stopped eating like the meals like I make for him after work, and said he already ate some fast food or something like that. I also noticed he's been changing his lock screen, which was was a picture of us. Not sure if that meant anything, to be honest. I found out three days ago, I went through his phone while he was in the shower and found text messages, videos, and pictures. Jackpot. I'm sick to my stomach thinking about what I saw. I saw pictures of my mom in lingerie, and he was replying to pictures of his you-know-what, saying he was so hard for her. I even saw a message of regret. He has said that maybe they should stop since he didn't want to hurt me, but my mom said that I wouldn't get hurt as long as they kept it all a secret. Holy shit. Talk about the evil mother from hell. Oh, we can keep doing it. Keep it a secret. Back to the saying from Al Bundy, don't try to understand women. Women understand women. They hate each other. Mom's doing her daughter's husband. Obviously, mom is resentful of the daughter. Maybe the mom is resentful of getting older. I don't know what. Her mom has a thing for young dudes and likes to sabotage things. I don't know. Going straight to hell, that one. They're both scumbags, but the mother's far worse. It says here, but what angered me the most was the message that she sent a few days ago. I'll quote it here so anyone reading this can get an idea how it sounds and how serious the affair has, ha, is and has been. And this is the quote, the text she found. It says, I love you so much, more than you think. You've helped me through the passing of my beloved ex-husband, and for that, I truly thank you. I know it's hard for you to keep a secret like this. For me, it is too. I love my daughter with all my heart, but she will have to accept eventually, eventually that love is love and the heart wants what it wants. Our hearts want each other. I thought that ever since my husband died, nobody would ever love me because I'm just an old woman, but you showed me to, showed me to love myself and made me feel young and sexy again. Let's keep having fun and cherishing each other. Good Lord. She couldn't find another guy. I mean, come on here. I mean, if she remotely takes care of herself, even though she's in her 50s, believe me, she can find dudes in their 20s or maybe 30s that would hook up with her for the whole cougar thing. But she's got to choose her daughter's husband. And while her daughter's pregnant. Maisie loves company. Says here, I think it's important to know that my father passed away about five years ago from a stroke. And my mother says she refused to get back into dating or romance because my father is her forever love and only and only. It's absolute bullshit. I'm effing crushed, and it's the fact that I know they had SEX after that message because that was the night he didn't come home until 1 o'clock in the morning due to work and paid overtime. 
I actually threw up after reading that message. I have screenshots of the messages and have sent the videos to myself. Of course, I deleted them on his phone so it looked like he never sent me anything. I'm numb. I'm confused. I'm hurt so bad. I can't even cry because I refuse to believe it. My husband is at work. I'm sitting on the edge of my bed writing this. Any advice? Any advice? Yeah. End it. You got it made. You got all the proof of the cheating and lying and all that going on. I mean, good Lord. Have nothing to do with your mother. You, this is a, a lawyer's dream come true because last time I checked, the family courts support the women. And uh, and if this guy's providing for her, I mean, this guy's going to get raked over the coals. And honestly, he deserves it. And I'd cut her mother off completely. Have nothing to do with her. She says, please, I'm desperate for just a little bit of anything, really. This baby in me is honestly the only thing preventing me from the confrontation. I'm afraid that confronting them will now cause too much stress and anger, and I want the best for my child. At this point, all I want to do is have my baby. Christmas is soon, and I don't want to ruin it for the family. I'd also plan on announcing my pregnancy that day. Please help me. Well, believe me, it's warranted that she takes care of herself and the child, okay? I get she doesn't want to put herself in a situation to cause stress, maybe have a miscarriage, but still. And ruining Christmas, who cares about ruining Christmas? They're the ones that did all this, right? Fuck them. She goes on and says a little update here. She says, hello. Thank you all for your support. Really, you don't understand how much it means to me to see so many strangers online wishing me well. I did not expect my post to gain this much attention. You can't post something saying that my mom has been hooking up with my husband while I'm pregnant and not get bombarded with views and comments and attention. I mean, come on here. Again, everybody's hearing banjos or thinking, Jerry, Jerry. And of course they're going to read this. Uh, it says, about two hours ago, I confronted my husband when he came home from work. I told him everything that I know, and I know everything. I showed him the pictures and the messages. At first, he denied it. Of course, sounds like a chick. But when I actually when I showed him the evidence, he started crying, crying, actually crying. He had the nerve to cry and get on his knees while holding and caressing my stomach. This guy sounds like a little bitch, and he is. He told me that I would be a bad mother if I left him and raised my child without a father because a baby needs a dad in their life to grow mentally and physically. Yeah, well, you know what? You're no man. You're a bitch. That's what you are. I honestly don't know what to say at that, at that except that it's pure bullshit. I told him that I was contacting an attorney in order to file for divorce. I'd already packed my things before he came home. I'm currently staying at a local motel about 30 minutes away from my home. I asked my cousin if I could stay with her for a few days, and she agreed. I'm getting everything sorted from there. My husband's been blowing on my phone with messages and apologies. He told me that if I would take him back, that he won't do anything to hurt me ever again, and he will cut all ties with my mother. I'd be like, asshole, you can have her. You can have her, old ass. Because guess what? She may look pretty good for 52 if she, if she really works hard to keep herself in shape. But believe me, 60 is going to be here real soon. And more and more wrinkles and gray hair and sagging boobs and cottage cheese ass cheeks and all that. But you can have her all you want. That's what I'd say. Says here, uh, as for her, I've also confronted her too. I messaged her once and I got to the motel. I told her I was pregnant and that she will never get to see the grandchild. She has not responded yet. I've also moved all my finances I had in my husband's and I our shared bank account to my personal savings account. Well, there you go. Even though I don't blame her, this is why you don't do joint accounts, guys. Right here. Even though he's the a-hole in this story, still, joint account, boom, took it all out. You don't understand how grateful and appreciative I am for the support. I apologize I could not even reply to all the personal messages I've been receiving as well. It's been hell. I'll try my best to update if my mother does anything and replies to me. Again, thank you all so much. I wouldn't even give her mother that. I just would have disappeared as she was trying to contact you and be like, hey, you know. Next update, she says, uh, I'm safe. I've been receiving a lot of messages from those who are, con who are concerned for my well-being. I am safe and I'm finally at my cousin's house. Thank you all once again for the supportive messages and replies. I also would like to thank you for all the awards. They mean so much to me. My mental health is getting better every single day. Uh, and all thanks to you amazing people for offering me advice and kind words. I've chosen to cut all ties with my mother. She messaged me just a few hours ago. And honestly, I don't have the heart to reply. Why should you reply? 
you said what was needed to be said. She is hooking up with your husband. Not to mention that you have proof that even when he was remorseful about it, even that doesn't excuse his actions, he was egging him on to continue on the affair. No, bullshit. She doesn't deserve a response. He says, she says, it also made me rethink my situation. And this is what the mother said. She says, I'm so sorry for the pain and hurt I caused you. It was never my, meant to go this far. Uh, bullshit. She saw the text saying, continuing to get the guy to hook up with her. I love you so much with every inch of my heart, but you are not the victim. How, oh, 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 this is the girl saying this. Uh, how dare you hold this against me and take, take away my right to see my one only grand... Okay, this is the mother. My bad. How dare you hold this against me and take away my right to see my one and only grandbaby? Lady, I would never let you see this grandchild. You are cruel. If you do this, you'll forever live life regretting. Please do not do this to me. I am your mother. I love you. I have ended it with my with, with such and such. We are no longer on speaking terms. Please push past this. A child cannot be raised without a father or grandmother. I love you. Please call me. She's twisting this around and saying, you can't raise your child without the grandmother, and, and that's cruel to do that to me. But never mind that I'm effing your husband. Remember the whole thing about women and accountability? It doesn't make a difference. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, same thing. She's the bad guy. This gal here for saying, I want nothing to do with you, and, I, and you're never going to see that grandchild. She's the bad guy, but not the mom who's ruined her marriage. Now, certainly the husband... He takes two to tango. He's an a-hole too, but still. She says, I cut out some more personal things from the text. I have a lawyer and I'm in the process of looking for an apartment. I have no intention on allowing either my former husband or my mother into my child's life, but I'm also afraid that my child will grow up deprived of many child-father bonding experiences. Yeah, well, you can be pe- your husband's a low life. We can all agree here. However, if he wants to see that child, he can certainly make the effort through the courts to see the child. Now, obviously, she's going to have the, the... The court's going to be on her side, but still, you know, it is his child regardless of what he did. Uh, this may be my last update as I want to move on from all this. As for my husband, his messages have gone quiet, which I'm thankful for. My cousin has been helping me through this and currently the only family member other than my mom and husband who know about the affair. I'm very appreciative to all the support. I hope you all have an amazing holiday. Well, like I said, you can't make this S-H-I-T up. And let me tell you, the whole family's going to know. And you know what? As embarrassing this is for her, the family should know about it. Mom and husband should be exposed for this. And like I said, they can have each other. But I guarantee you, once this is no longer a secret fling, they're both going to lose interest. And if not, well, he can have her old ass because, believe me, yes, you can have women in their 50s that look good for their 50s. But uh, things... Uh, Father Time is going to come into the mix real quick here. So I wish her the best. But yeah, get a good attorney, all your options, and given the state of things, this guy is going to be raked over the coals and honestly deserves it. Now, this is his child. He should be able to see his child regardless of what some people might think. But uh, but other than that, nah, and that whole part when she took all the money out of the joint account, this is why I tell you guys, what, for whatever re- no matter what the situation is, you have money in your account that your paycheck or business profits go to. She has the money in her account. And you have one joint account with a little bit of money just to pay the mutual expenses, nothing more. If you stockpile all your money in an account that she can have access to, she can wipe you clean right here. Now, a few con- uh, comments here before I wrap this up. Uh, one person says here, contact a lawyer, organize your finances, map out a game plan. If there's someone you can trust, maybe move in with them. Don't keep this to yourself. Once you know, know what you're going to do, leave and kick him out. Let everyone know what has been going on. Do not let them get away with this. Now the guy says here, seriously, shame these disgusting people. I seriously can't believe your own mother would do this to you. While pregnant, no less with the child. They deserve endless shame. Now the guy says here, of all the 4 billion men on the planet, your mom had to F the father of her grandchildren. Really? That's how much she loves you? I don't know your economic situation, but I'd be burning bridges at this point. Yeah, at Four, eight billion people on the planet, half are men, and the mom has to hook up with the daughter's husband. Ma, I, I've heard of mother and daughter issues, but this takes it to a whole new level. Another one says here, this isn't a love thing. It's just an infatuation and the thrill of the taboo. Once it's out in the open, it'll quickly become a bitter regret of both of them. You say you don't want to say anything because it might cause under, cause undue stress to the baby. 
sweetheart, that ship has already sailed. It's absolute best that this gets exposed for everyone involved. You aren't saving Christmas. You are scrapbooking a horrible time in your life. Tell a sibling, a friend, let somebody else out of the, in the situation, and let the chips land where they will. Absolutely see an attorney today. I'm sorry to know that you've been holding all this to yourself. I'm sorry they don't love you the way you should. Well, there you go. And for all I know, maybe she was a shitty wife. I don't know. But still, there's no excuse for this guy banging her mom. Okay? And, and, and again, what the mom did to her. But again, as Al Bundy said, like I said earlier, don't try to understand women. Women understand women, and they hate each other. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below and just think about this. And guys, you got a great story you'd like to share? Crazy type of story? By all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it. I definitely will when I get the chance. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.